Hello there, this is Nabs bringing you more missions from SnowRunner. We're getting near the end of the uh, Alaska stuff. We're at the Morin Mines. We got two left to complete. And then we'll be done with the Alaska. So, I'm. Uh, we're doing the uh, service hub reactivation. So, we're going to be picking up uh, concrete blocks from here and consumables from the factory loading and bringing them down to the service hub. So, I'm bringing a, oh yeah, I'm bringing a trailer that carries four, so it should do the whole thing. And I've got a new vehicle. I got the, however this is said, AZ, uh, Azov or Azov or A Z O V fifty three nineteen. So it's uh, it's part of the Russian group. I'm I'm guessing, and uh, yeah, I brought it and then brought it over here. So and I've got uh, got an empty trailer that was here. It was already here. Figured why not use it. So to get where we're going, we're going to, let's see, uh, I could try cutting across here. I just wonder if I can do that. Let's cut through here, go over the water, see if we can't make it this way, this, the, the short way to the uh, factory loading. Why not? This is another eight-wheeled vehicle. You can put a flatbed on it and uh, all the other uh, basic trailers on it. Uh, I thought I'd bring in the Twin Star over here, but that's a long drive to get here. So I chose not to. And not to mention, this has eight wheel drive. I got all eight wheels that roll that power this bad boy. Look at that, that drive shaft. I figured why not? Oh, did I just go the wrong direction? Oh, it'll get me there. Either way, it gets me there. So I thought I'd give this one a whirl. It's its first run, first mission that I'm using it on, so... Figured, why not? Give it a shot. Try it out. Oh, uh, the interior of it is, uh... Let's see if I can make the turn here first. Pay attention to where I'm going. Interior is kind of modern. Looks kind of, uh, clean and warm. A good looking vehicle on the inside for uh, for the type of work that it does. Heavy industrial, lots of buttons. Uh, looks like a, can't tell if that's a plastic or a metal dash. It's kind of plastic metal-ish. But you know, not so military looking like the, uh, the other truck I just got. Looks kind of like, you know, a comfortable environment to work in, work out of. Hopefully I can get this, this trailer there going this route, but I will see. It does not, I don't have a snorkel on it, so I'm assuming it's taking its air in low. It looks like it blows its smoke out of the lower left. No stacks. Uh, maybe they're, they can be add-ons, I don't know. Oh boy. Got a very flat nose that has just run into the ground here. Come on, bad boy, you can do it. All right, maybe you can't do it. All right, maybe I gotta take these eight tires up over the high part of the snow and try it that way. All right, this is this is not good. I don't know why it's not uh, cutting through to where it's supposed to. It's there it goes some reason it was catching on something over there the front of the truck was I don't know what but we got it through there all right now we get across the water with this very low sitting trailer but the trailers just got to drag its way through we just got to get the uh, eight tires into the right spots and I'm missing it there We're gonna slide off into the deep water cannot do that with this truck Again, it doesn't have a high snorkel, so it cannot, I'm assuming it won't take the deep water very well. And, but it does cruise over the rocks just peachy. But that's what you get when you got a, you know, eight wheel drive. And 
she's cruising pretty good through here. Now we just gotta get up onto the snow. Whoa, boy, eight wheel drive though dust churn through fuel. Look at that, down to 137 liters. But it's getting there. It's just not getting there very quickly. Keeps having to shift back down into the, into first gear. This is a little more than uh, it wants to do. It doesn't like this. At least not with that trailer back there. Ooh, ow, that just, that took a deep nose dive. Though it is just dragging that trailer along. Looks like it has no choice. It is really pulling its way through everything. Eight chained wheels a pulling. Wow, she's really it is it, it is pulling it through there, but it is really churning through some fuel down to 124. What are all these stumps? I don't not remember. Am I still going the right way? Yeah, I'm still going the right way. I do not remember seeing all these stumps down here. I guess I just wasn't paying attention or I missed them. All right, we are so close. If I could figure out how to get over this hill. Come on. There we go. And we are at the low, or close to the loading point. At least past the hard stuff. Except for turning around, that looks like it'll be a challenge. This thing does not turn. Let's see here. Let's get all the way in. Let's get our uh, see two consumables, and that's all we got here. All right. All right. Now we got to get her back around where we need to go. Come on. Oh, that's good enough for us. Turn to the right, and out we go. All right, we got the first stop done. Let's see, we turn here to get there. All right, on our way to the second stop. Eh, no fuel here, all right. On our way to the second pickup. Whoa, where are you going? Where are you going, truck? We're supposed to be going that way. Go this way. Oh, where does that road go? What the? Stop that. Put up all these markers. Yeah, much better. Useful markers. Not the uh, markers I didn't use. Oh, this, that's what's wrong. This trailer's sitting way too low. I brought the wrong trailer to this party. Well, it was free in here, so I'm using it anyways. Oh, this is a long piece of equipment right now. Look at that. There are a lot of wheels on the ground for this one. Lots of wheels rolling on this one. Eight on the truck, and what, another eight on the trailer? Oh, eight times two, 16 on the, is that right? Four, four, and each one's a dually. Oh, yeah, it is 60, more on the trailer than on the tractor. All right, make the turn to the left. Oh, overdid it, overdid it. Yeah, oh, I got it back on the, kept it on the road. All right, now we just grind our way there. Hopefully we won't run out of juice. 
before we uh, make it to destination. But, well, I still got to get to the pickup location, so let's take it one stop at a time. And it just kind of grinds its way there. Eight wheels are turning. Drive shaft just spinning away right there. Oh, that doesn't look good. That's a lot of stuff. Wow. Really? Just bounce the whole thing backwards. That is one heck of a fallen tree. Rocked the whole thing backwards. All right, now here's the interesting part. How do I turn around with this much truck? Well, let's pick up our concrete blocks here. Ooh, I got everything in the wrong order. I got the those at the back. All right. All right. Let's see if I can swing it around like a pivot. Darn it! That sign is not mobile. All right. That may end up being a semi-terminal mistake there. Yes, it will be because look what's right, right conveniently at the bad spot, a pole. I can't fix that. I need to reorganize the trailer. Straight, straight. Why is the trailer turning? There we go. Now, curl the trailer. Yes. Now I have room to maneuver. Not quite going to make that. Just worried about the nose of it. The trailer will follow where I need it to go. And away we go. 73 gallons, fully loaded. And let's mark our route to the destination. We're going to turn there. Oh, no. Oh, that's an ice run. That's fine. Yes, yes, that's fine. Perfect. Now, as long as we have enough fuel, we'll be okay. This guy runs actually pretty good. It's not the fastest in the world. Hopefully I can get the uh, engine upgrades to it. Uh, but I'm sure all those upgrades are in on different maps that aren't in Alaska. Considering the fact this is a truck that you're not supposed to use out in the U.S. Ha 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 ha. I brought it here anyways. That's right. I'm defiant. And it's kind of defying me. The weight distribution being all off on that trailer is, is going to cost me. It, it, it really is. It's running slow. It it's doesn't have the weight on the drive tires like you would like. The weight's actually on those spread out along those 16 tires. Which, you know, isn't bad, but I, I could have really used it up front where it could have been on the pin and pushing down the drive, the uh the tractor some of the uh, the eight drive tires instead of just dead weight over the uh, rear axle all right I make that yeah make the left here it added more spots I hate it when it does that it, it just adds more dots on the map all right come on come on come on come on you can oh just see those signs fly look at that hey Clipped them off real good. So I overcorrect. There we go. There we go. Come on. Get back on the road. There we go. 
53 liters left and it is very slow going very slow truck is though interesting to drive it, it's it's a little easier to run than the twins are but not much and now my twin star has 16 cylinders that thing has got some pop there is nothing too heavy for it so far and this truck does not have a the, any optional motor and it. it's got its low grade stock one and it uh, is lacking some power there it is really not all that uh, doesn't have a lot of umph in it and it's kind of showing let's see if I remember right I need to go up by the rocks so I can grab more traction because I'm gonna hit some deep mud come on make it up there there we go all right make it up there pull it over and then turn there we go Ooh, 39 I am going to I may need a fuel vehicle I may have to go grab a fuel vehicle for this run not cool 35 liters left I don't have any markers telling me how many more meters oh I just find out what that number is that number is meters you know if I pay attention and see the M that was next to it I would know that that was four meters yes um, but I must be oh, 210 meters away according to this it's about 210 yards give or take Oh no, I'm in the red line, 29. Come on, big boy, come on, you can do it. Get in gear and go. Use the use that all eight tires and all the traction you can get. Which apparently isn't much because she's back down in the first. She'll roll in second, but she will not does not stay there very long. Yeah, I, I have a feeling I am going to be needing a fuel vehicle. And I don't know if there's one nearby. I'm pretty sure I don't have a scout over here. Which means I'm going to have to go run and get one. Because this is not looking good. Even if I complete this mission, uh, he's going to be dead in the water. <laughs> He's not going to make it, is he? Well, let's see if I make the mission at least. Come on, gas! 17 liters left. Oh, no. That's not going to make the turn. All right, that'll make the turn. Whoa, did you see that? She pulled that tractor. That trailer is heavy. No wonder I'm running out of fuel. That trailer is stout. It definitely outweighs the tractor by probably a good, handsome sum. Ooh, we may... Oh, and look at that! There's a fuel trailer right there! There's a fuel trailer right there! Oh, and there's a giant trailer right there. When is I going to get that mission? Whoa. Uh, refuel. Yes, we made it with fuel because the filler was right there. Bang, bang. All right, we completed the mission. The service hub reactivation 5100 put in the bank, and that was the first run for this vehicle. Hope you like these videos, hit that like button and subscribe. Let's me know to make keep making more. And until I see you next time, later.